right, people. Today we're learning about nonmetals. Well, no flies on phosphorus. The compound phosphorus trigide is a poisonous gas that's used to kill pests, which eat grain. Farmers only use a mild form of it, so the grain isn't poisoned as well. Fertilizers. Nitrogen and phosphorus are both major ingredients in fertilizers. They help farmers to grow more plants in places with poor soil. Using the halogens, the halogens are very reactive nonmetals. Some of、uh, Some of them are quite dangerous, but chemists have still found uses for them. Boring bromine. In the past, doctors used bromine compounds called bromides to help people to sleep. For many years, the word the word bromide just meant anything really boring. All right, what about choking on chlorine? Well, chlorine is used in carefully controlled amounts to disinfect swimming pools and drinking water. Pure chlorine gas is so poisonous it was used as a weapon in the First World War. Well, soldiers had to protect themselves from it by wearing gas masks. Gas masks. Gas masks. Wow. They even had to wear that during war. Medical iodine. When solid、uh, iodine is dissolved in alcohol, it's a strong antiseptic which can be used to treat wounds. Lithium iodide is used in batteries of pacemakers. These are tiny machines that help steady a person's heartbeat. Pacemakers can be seen. By an X-ray, what a stink! Chemistry labs can be full of strange and terrible smells. One of the smelliest chemicals is sulfur, but it's not the only culprit. Smelly food. Well, sulfur is found in rotting eggs, which have a really unpleasant smell. It's also what gives garlic its strong taste. In a compound called alkene, smelling salts. When a person faints, one way to relieve revive them can be to release a strong smell. Smelling salts react with air to release a tiny amount of ammonium gas, which can sometimes do the trick. Skunk spray. Skunks spray a horrible smell that sends any attackers running. It's full of sulfur compounds called styles. The smell is so strong it can spread for over a mile. The spray can even cause temporary blindness if aimed at the eyes. Dead smelly. Some nitrogen compounds have very strong smells with names that match. Perchiskin and carinine are the compounds that make rotting or, or this word sings and dead bodies or cadavers smell awful. Technically, rotting bodies do smell awful. Butyric acid. One common smell is very hard to forget. But rig acid wafts up from parson,、uh, parson cheese, rancid butter, vomit, and even people who don't wash. Fume cupboard. Some chemical reactions create very smelly and even dangerous gases. Chemists do these reactions inside a fume cupboard. A fan in the top of the cupboard whisks. The gases safely away. All right, that's all we have for today. Goodbye, and remember, 喜欢看中文的请搜索“跟长荣学化学中文版”。